I found the best SIGs and the best dribble tutorial in NBA 2K24. You clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only. That's a dribble like this. Look how I'm moving. The lock don't know where to guard, who to guard. He don't know how to defend me. Look, who's he trying to guard? Ankles? Oh my God. Shoot right off the Jamal Murray. I'm trying to tell y'all, I got the best SIGs. Wait, one more time, Jamal Murray. Fade him. Oh my God. I have the best SIGs and the best dribble tutorial for y'all. And with all that, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got the controller cam up on the screen so you can follow along. But look at me one more time. I'm gonna put him in a Krabby Patty formula. He can't guard me. He's sniffing up. Pause. One more time. Come up and hold the screen. Krabby Patty formula. Let's get to it. Get this video to 100 likes if you want to see more videos like this. Enough talking. I'm going to get right into it. Here are my SIGs, okay? The best dribble style in the game is Kyrie Irving. The second best, if you're a taller guard, would be Magic Johnson. It's up to you, but for this video, I'm going to use Kyrie Irving. Signature size up, Steve Francis. It's the best one. If you're a taller guard, I would go with T-Mac, okay? But Steve Francis, because I'm a smaller guard. Now, regular and aggressive breakdown combo, they really don't matter, but I go with De'Aaron Fox and John Morant, okay? Escape moves. There's three escape moves that you could use, okay? I use all three of them. It's, it's really up to you. It's your preference. It's whatever you want to do. You can use Jimmy Butler. It's super glitchy. You could use Kemba Walker. It's super fast. Or you could use Trey Young, which has been in the game for a couple years now, okay? I rock with Trey Young. Now, combo move, Steph Curry is the best one in the game. Put on combo move, Steph Curry. Kobe Bryant crossover, okay? That's to do the long crossover right there. The one he just did, the one he's about to do again. That one right there. Kobe Bryant or John Wall is really your decision. Behind the back, the best one is Jamal Murray. It creates so much space as you can see, okay? You got to get that behind the back right there. Boom. Basic spin because we don't do spins around here. And for the hesitation, we got to go with John ja Morant. John ja Morant has he's the best in the game. For step back, Steph Curry or John Wall, it's up to you. They both do the same thing. But in my opinion, if you're a smaller guard, you go ahead, go with Steph Curry. Triple threat style, it doesn't really matter, but we go with that boy Kobe, you feel me? Go with Kobe now. If you want my jump shot, I posted a jump shot video, go check that out. If you want my build, I posted a build video, go check that out, you feel me? But that's really it. You can copy my six down, because these are the six I'm going to be using in the dribble tutorial. Now, one thing for the escape moves, okay? You can, you can use whatever SIG you want. You can use Jimmy Butler, you can use Kemba Walker, or you can use Trey Young, and the dribble tutorial is gonna be the exact same for you, okay? Just in the dribble tutorial, I'm using Trey Young, okay? You can do all the same moves, you can move your stick the same way with the other dribble SIGs that I just showed y'all, but that's it, man. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so I'm in the arena. I got the controller up on the screen. Now, if you're just learning how to dribble, I would suggest coming in here. I'm not gonna lie. There's really no delay in here, so it's gonna everything's gonna be all your dribble moves are gonna be super super smooth and there's no stamina so you know what i mean you're never gonna get tired you can keep dribbling forever if you really want to now in my opinion i'm not gonna lie the best or my go-to move is gonna be this crossover right here this crossover right here this is the trey young crossover okay this crossover creates a lot of space let's say a defender's on you you hit them with the cross boom you can either keep running or you get l2 cancel boom just like that right back to the opposite side now l2 cancel is kind of hard i'm not gonna lie and i'm gonna show you obviously because it's an advanced dribble tutorial now in order to do the trey young all you got to do hold r2 now you can do this with kemba walker and you can do this with uh what you call it jimmy butler too like i said they all work the same for escape moves you hold r2 you let's say you got the ball in your left hand you're going to go ahead, you're going to flick your right stick to the upper right in this direction. You see me flicking the upper right, look at my controller. I'm going to flick it that way. And, and then if I got the ball in my right hand, I'm going to flick it to the upper left. I'm going to flick it that way. Upper left, you feel me? So watch. R2, upper right, and just run out of it. Boom. That's, that's all you got to do. R2, upper right, sprint out of it. R2, upper left, sprint out of it. That's that simple. And now you're doing the Trey Young escape move. Boom. It's, it's really that simple. And obviously, you can quick stop off it just like this. One dribble, quick stop, okay? You can really do that off of it. Or you can go ahead, L2 cancel off of it, which I'm going to show y'all later in the video. Now, the second best move, Steve Francis, okay? This is the Steve Francis right here. It looks kind of like, it looks kind of like Trey Young, but it's not Trey Young because you're doing, like you're doing a whole separate move, okay? This is Steve, I'm going to, the first crossword I'm going to do is Steve Francis, and the second I'm going to do is Trey Young, watch. I'm going to do Steve Francis, watch. Steve Francis, back to a Trey Young, okay? So, 
in order to do the Steve Francis, all you have to do is the same way you do the Trey Young, but you don't hold R2, okay? You hold R2 when you're running. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick to the upper right, hold R2, then sprint, okay? Uh, flick your right stick to the upper left, hold R2, then start sprinting. It's that simple. Now you could do it front, or you could do it behind like this. You can put it behind the back, just like that, okay? And run out of it. All you gotta do for the behind the back is go bottom left and bottom right, okay? That's all you gotta do for the behind the back. Bottom left or bottom right, and just sprint out of it whenever you're ready to sprint. So boom, sprint, boom, sprint, okay? Simple as that. That's how you do Steve Francis. I showed y'all how to do Trey Young, Steve Francis. Now I'm gonna show y'all that Steph Curry snatchback, okay? This snatchback right here, boom. This snatchback, super, super tough, I'm not gonna lie. Boom, it creates a lot of space. Let's say I'm like comboing up, right? Let's say I'm gonna go ahead, combo up, and I got a defender on me, boom, boom, boom. And he's right up on me, he's in my grill, I'm gonna snatch back, create a lot of space, okay? That simple, boom, you can shoot off of it too. As soon as you snatch back, let that, I mean, let it go. Shoot right off of it. In order to snatch back, it's probably the simplest move in the game. You hold R2, you flick your right stick down, he's gonna snatch back, that simple. That's all you gotta do, hold R2, flick your right stick down, snatch back. It's literally that simple, okay? So, the next move I wanna show y'all is the behind the back. This move right here, Jamal Murray behind the back, okay? Look at how much space he creates, boom. Now, you have to wait a second before you can spam the behind the back, but there is a way to spam it back to back, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all in just a second. So, in order to behind the back, you hold R2, you if you got the ball in your left hand, you're gonna flick your right stick to the bottom right, in this direction that I just flicked it, bottom right. Or, if you got the ball in your right hand, you're gonna flick it bottom left, in this direction. The direction I'm flicking it in, okay? So let's say I got the ball in my right hand, flick it bottom left. I got the ball in my left hand, I'm gonna flick it bottom right, you feel me? Just like that, okay? Now, the next move I'm gonna show y'all, it's this move right here. Watch, boom, you see how I just double behind the back? If I try to double behind the back regular, it's not gonna work. It's gonna give me this little move right there. It's gonna give me a Steve Francis, okay? In order to double behind the back, all you have to do is flick your right, the direction you flick your right stick, flick it in that direction twice and then flick it back the opposite way. So a lot of y'all not gonna understand what I'm saying, but look, I'm gonna show y'all. R2, so I'm gonna flick my right stick to the bottom right, but I'm gonna flick it twice in that direction quick, okay? So I'm gonna flick it one time, and I'm gonna flick it twice. Like that, okay? I, look, I didn't do the move, it's just to, just to show y'all, okay? So I'm gonna flick my right stick in this direction twice. One, two, just like that, one, two, and bottom left, one, two, depending on what ball or what hand I got the ball in. So I got it in my left hand. I'm gonna hold R2, flick it to the bottom right twice, then flick it back to the bottom left once. So watch, one, two, one, boom. That simple, he's gonna do the double behind the back. Now let's say I got the ball in my right hand. I'm gonna flick it to the bottom left twice, flick it back to the bottom right once. So watch, one, two, one, simple, okay? One, two, one, that's all you're doing. You're flicking it bottom right or bottom right twice and bottom left twice and flicking it the opposite way one more time, okay? So watch, one more time, R2. Bottom right twice, bottom left once. He's gonna do the double behind the back. And I'm telling you, it's super, super tough, okay? Now, the next move I wanna show y'all is this move right here. You see me do, doing this misdirection? This misdirection is tough, okay? Now you can't run out of it, because obviously this year, you can't run out of a lot of moves. Like watch, it gives you that right there, but you, you don't wanna run out of that, okay? So you, all you wanna do for this misdirection, I ain't gonna lie, it was kinda hard last year, but this year, it's really easy to do, but it's not that effective. You just want to use it as like a combo move, okay? And then run out of something else. So watch, in order to misdirection, let's say that, let's say I got the ball in my left hand, right? I'm going to hold R2. I'm going to flick my right stick bottom right and flick my left stick bottom left, okay? If I have the ball in my left hand. So bottom, or the, my right stick's going to go in this direction and my left stick's going to go in that direction. I hope y'all looking at the controller, okay? Right stick in this direction, left stick in this direction, like simultaneously okay so watch boom just like that actually like one after the other don't do it at the same time one after the other so now i got the ball in my right hand i'm gonna flick my right stick bottom left in this direction and i'm gonna flick my left stick bottom right in this direction okay so i'm gonna do it one after the other like a one two punch boom boom misdirection okay and i got it my left hand bottom right bottom left one two punch boom boom simple that's how you misdirection right there boom all right so we back my controller disconnected but we good look that's how that's how you misdirection right there you can go ahead spam that misdirection but i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't spam it all i would do is i would probably just do a momentum dribble 
do the misdirection and snatch back off of it. Now, in order to do that, all you in order to momentum dribble, this is the momentum dribble right here. That that move I'm doing, it's been in the game since like 2K16, 2K17. Okay, all you gotta do in order to momentum dribble, let's say you got the ball on your right left hand, you're gonna hold R2, you're gonna flick your right stick to the upper right and follow your left stick into the right direction. Okay, so my right stick's gonna go in this direction. And my left stick's gonna go in this direction also. So watch, boom, one after the other, okay? Right after you flick your right stick, you flick your left stick. So right stick to the upper right, left stick to the upper right. Boom, That that's it's that simple. That's how you momentum dribble. Now, right stick to the upper left, left stick to the upper left, one after the other, boom. Just like that, okay? Boom, boom, boom. That's how you momentum dribble. Now you can really go ahead, spam it together. But like I said, all I would do if I'm in front of a defender, I would do this move right here. I would do a momentum dribble, misdirection, snatch back, Trey Young probably run out of it. Okay, it's really that simple. That's all the moves I would do if I'm in front of someone. I wouldn't like just go ahead and start spamming, spamming this move right here. Because most likely you're gonna get ripped dribbling right in front of a lockdown with 99 steel. Now the next move I want to show y'all is this move right here. You see, you see how I just create a lot of space by just running like that. Look at how fast I just take off this move. Boom. And I can behind the back off it. I can do a bunch of moves off it. I ain't gonna lie. It's super, super tough. It's this move. I'm telling you, it's tough. So in order to do this move right here, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what to call it, but we just gonna call it whatever, whatever it looks like. You feel me? Listen, in order to do this move, let's say you got the ball in your left hand. You're gonna hold R2. Flick the right stick to the upper right. As soon as you start running, flick it back to the upper left. Okay? Simple. Hold R2. Let's say you got the ball in your left hand. Flick your right stick to the upper right. Flick it to the upper left and start running. Okay? So that's all you're doing boom that's all you're doing with the move you're holding r2 you're flicking your right stick to the upper right and you're holding your left stick to the upper left direction just like that and run it boom that's simple hold r2 if you got the ball in your right hand flick it to the upper left and flick your right stick to the upper right and start running into the right direction so watch boom boom that's simple boom boom start running boom boom start running now you can obviously go ahead and mix up behind the back off of it if you hold l2 do the L2 cancel, but I haven't showed y'all how to L2 cancel yet. So let's get right into it, okay? L2 cancel, one of the best moves in the game, okay? It's, this move right here is gonna create a lot of space for y'all. Look, look at how I just start moving when I start L2 canceling. I ain't gonna lie, L2 cancel is super, super tough this year. Now, in order to L2 cancel, all you have to do, right? In order to L2 cancel, let's say you hold R2. Boom, you're holding R2. You're gonna do the Trey Young I just showed y'all. Trey Young right and then you're gonna run off of it when you run off of this trey young you're gonna hold l2 flick your right stick back to the upper left and start running in the opposite direction okay so r2 flick your right stick to the upper left flick it back to the upper right and run okay i'm not gonna lie r2 flick your right stick to the upper right run hold l2 flick it back to the upper left and run if you're doing it right this is the move you should be getting okay boom you should get this move right there every single time if you do it, you should get that move right there every single time. And all you have to do, you have to just let go of L2. Boom. If you're getting that move right there that I'm getting, I'm just not letting go of L2. You see, I'm just holding my L2 button after I do this move. Boom. I'm holding my L2 button. Now watch what happens when I let go of my L2 button. Boom. I do that move right there. That's the L2 cancel, okay? Your L2 canceling right off of a move. So the best way to explain it, in my opinion, is you hold R2. You flick your right stick to the upper right. You hold L2, you let go of L2 and flick it back to the upper left. That's how you L2 cancel. Now you can do it off a of Trey Young. You could do it off a of behind the back. You could do it off a of snatch back. Boom. Okay. So in order to do, in order to do it off the behind the back, you're gonna go ahead. You're gonna behind the back. Boom. Or you're you're gonna start running, right? You're gonna hold L2, flick your right stick to the opposite or the bottom right in order to do the Jamal Murray. So let's say I'm sorry, I'm running to the right. I'm gonna run to the right. Then I'm gonna hold my L2 button and I'm gonna flick my right stick to the upper left and let go of L2 and he's gonna do the behind the back, okay? So let's say I do a Trey Young, boom, simple. It's that simple, that's how you do it. You just, let's say I'm Trey Young and boom, I'm Trey Young in. I go to the right, I hold L2, I flick my right stick, or I flick my right stick to the opposite direction in order to do the Jamal Murray and that's how you do it, okay? That's how you L2 cancel. Now, let us let me show you how to do it off a snatch back, okay? Off a snatch back, it's simple. Let's say you're running straight. Let's say I'm running straight, I'm gonna hold L2, Flick my right stick down. Boom. Hold L2. Flick my right stick down. He's going to L2 cancel. Okay. Let's say you do all these moves. You run. You hold L2. Flick your right stick down. He's going to L2 cancel. 
but you have to let go of L2 right after you flick your right stick down and he's going to be able to do the move fully. If you don't let go of it, watch what happens. Watch. He goes into this little, this little like protective ball handle move right here. You don't want that. You, you want to be able to shoot right off of it, okay? So what I do, let's say like I'm coming up the court and I have the lock beat, right? I'm going right. I L2 cancel like I'm rim running. Boom. I shoot the ball right off of it. It's super, super tough. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all got to get that in y'all back. The last move I want to show y'all is this move right here. It's called, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, but it's called like the Steve Francis spam. I think I'm just going to call it that the Steve Francis spam. You see me spamming this move right here. Boom. This move is super, super tough. If you get that in y'all bag, y'all can go left or you can go right and you can go left. It's really that simple. And then obviously you can go ahead and L2 cancel out of it. Okay. Boom. L2 cancel right off of it. Now, in order to do this move, let's say you got the ball in your right hand. You're going to hold R2. You're going to flick your stick to the upper left, just like this to do a Trey Young. As soon as he does that Trey Young, you're going to let go of everything. You're going to flick your right stick back to the upper right. And that's the move right there. It's that simple. It doesn't look like it because I did it super slow. But watch what happens when I start doing it slow and start speeding it up. Okay, so hold R2, flick my right stick to the upper left, let go of everything, flick it back to the opposite, opposite direction. Okay, hold R2, flick it to the upper left, flick it back to the opposite direction. Boom. That's simple. Now let, watch what happens when I start speeding it up. R2, upper left, R2, upper left, R2, upper left. I'm just flicking it back and forth. Look at, look at my right stick, okay? Well, look at my right stick. My right stick's gonna go upper right, and my right stick's gonna go upper left. That's the only directions my right stick's gonna go. Upper right, upper left, upper right, upper left, just like that, okay? But you're, you're gonna be clicking L2, letting go of it at the same time you're doing it. So you're gonna hold R2, flick it to the upper left, let go of everything, flick it to the upper right, Hold R2 again, and you're back in the motion. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Watch. And now he starts speeding it up. You can really control how fast you want to do this move. So I can start uh, I can start off slow, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. And I can speed it up. I can speed it up every single time. I mean, it's super tough. Get that in y'all bag. Y'all gonna be tough. Because you can spam this. You can boom, put a, a misdirection in it, just like I just did right there. Boom, misdirection. You can go ahead and put a snatch back in it. Boom, just like that. Or you can go ahead, I mean... Watch, once you start spamming it, you can go ahead behind the back off of it, just like this. I ain't gonna lie, he not behind the back end, but look, you can go ahead behind the back off of it, just like that, boom. Let's say you do it, boom, behind the back. I'm telling you, it's tough, it's super, super tough. Get that in y'all back, but that's really all the moves I use in this game. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, that's all the moves I use in the game. I use the Trey Young, I use the L2 cancel, I use Steve Francis, I use the snatch back, the behind the back now i mean boom just like that i go live behind the back just like that and i use this little runoff dribble move right here and i l2 cancel out of it that move right there all that's all the moves a comp guard needs in comp pro-am stage even in rec i'm not gonna lie and in park most lockdowns aren't gonna be able to be used to these moves a lot of people just do some weird moves i ain't gonna lie to try to get open because they can't dribble properly but if you can learn how to dribble like this i ain't gonna lie you're gonna be super super tough now the last move, which I'm not gonna show y'all, cause it's kind of like, I feel like it needs a, a whole separate video, is the L2 cancel with the left stick, okay? So watch me L2 cancel with the left stick, boom. You see me doing that move back and forth? That move right there, that's the L2 cancel with the left stick. I'm L2 canceling without clicking L2. Look, look at my controller. I'm not gonna click L2 a single time. That's L2 cancel right there. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't gonna lie, it's tough, it's tough. I really gotta lock in to do it, but this move's been out for a while, but recently, a lot of people just figuring it out. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know why. A lot of people just figuring it out, but I had this move figured out like the first, second, like the second week of the game. I'm not even gonna lie, because it's super, super tough. But if you if you already know this move, you're, you're probably tough. You probably don't even need this video, but if you don't know this move, I'm gonna make a separate video on it. So just wait on that, you feel me? But that's really it, man. Do me a quick favor. Hit that like button for your boy. Smash that subscribe button. We on the road to 10K. It's been your boy YM and I'm out.